Right now it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius, and there goes a coyote running across the field. And we're just gonna put these bees in here tonight getting about 30 degrees. Gonna install them on undrawn foundation just like a new beginner would. Tonight it's gonna get down to about 32 degrees or zero Celsius. Got my spray bottle. I don't know if I should spray them. It's kind of cold. I may forego spraying them just because right now it's so cold. I'm gonna leave the board on the bottom board blocking any loss of heat because it's gonna be cold on a new package. I just think that's probably the better way to go for me just to be on the safe side of things. Now here's the deep hive box that I'm putting on here. The reason I like the bottom boards, the plastic ones so much that we sell, is because they have ways of holding the deep in position and I really like that. There we go, locking it in. Now all of the frames that you can see, I've added wax to them, but they're not, none of these are drawn out. So this is typically what you would see in a new beginner's configuration. That's what I wanna show you guys today. What would a new beginner do? on a cold day like today. And I brought uh, an older one that I've used a lot, my Burns feeding system. This one's been uh, used a lot. We're gonna use it today to feed the bees from the top and I brought a can of sugar water. What you wanna do, I'm moving some frames out about four out of the middle. We're gonna dump the bees that are very cold in their package into the hive. Let's go ahead and get that done. And so I'm gonna shake it down like this, one, two, three, then I'm gonna pull the can out while holding on to the queen cage. Okay, I'm gonna take the queen out and I'm gonna look at her to make sure she's alive and doing well. And you can see here is the queen. And she's moving around inside the cage. At this point, I'm gonna remove the candy plug. And that will allow the bees to start chewing through the candy. Let's put these bees down in there. You can tell these bees are pretty chilled, pretty cold, but they'll, they'll cluster up and be all right tonight, I think. They'll be in pretty good shape. I'm gonna take a, a screw like this and just kind of dig out a little bit of the candy. This might speed up the bees actually getting the queen out. They're probably used to the queen. I kind of hate to do a direct release Although I probably could get by with it because, you know, they have had, uh, they've had contact with the queen in there for quite a while. And yeah, these are not a brand new pair of gloves. Probably about all I can get out. I left about a quarter inch of candy in there. So I'm gonna lay the queen right here for now. And we're gonna start shaking the bees down into the hive like this. I could open one of the doors on the end, but I'm just so used to shaking like this. All right, there's still some in there. We'll deal with that extra in just a minute. Let's take what's ever in this can and shake those out. Now let's go ahead and put our frames back in the middle. We've got four frames to go in here. For now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang her. So I'm gonna hang her, I'm gonna put it right there for now. I'm gonna dump the rest of these bees on top of her. I'm gonna shake the bees down and get them all out of the cage good, right on top of her. Look at that. It takes skill to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hurt to block this off a little bit if you want to. I might leave it open. Well, you know, I'm going to suspend the queen cage down from the top. I think that would be a better approach. So let's just take it here. See if we can get some of the bees off of it. Okay, so what I plan to do here Let's take this copper wire, make sure the queen isn't up near the top of it here, and work it through the top. It's a little bigger than I thought, but it'll go through there. Good, now I'm gonna take it. Move off, girls, move off, please, just for a minute. You can come back, but I need the queen's attention right now. All right, so to, in order to suspend it, I'm just gonna take this little copper wire that I grabbed, make a hook out of it, so this way, now I can make a hook here, like this, and that will allow me to hook it over one of the frames in the middle, 
And I can get her a little bit lower down into the cluster. This would bring her down a couple of inches in the middle. So I'm gonna spread these frames out like this. And now I'm just gonna work the queen cage down in the middle here. Let's see, I wanna keep it that direction, don't I? So let me spin my wire. If I hang it this way, I want my hook to be the opposite side like that. Okay, that'd be perfect. Yep, yeah, now we'll just hang it like right here. Now I want the bees to kind of go down in between the frames where the queen is. So let me open that back up, see if I can get them all to go down in there. Cause I got to put a feeder on here. So I need the bees to kind of go down in there. How's that, pretty good? All right, let's square it all up again. It's not squishing the bees because the frames have ears on them. All right, now here's my feeder that I'm gonna put right on top of the hive. Look how girls right here. Perfect, and I've got my sugar ready. So let's make sure, yep, it's gonna be good feed for the bees. Got it, now I'm gonna put this empty super around the edge here. I've got a big towel that I'm gonna to use for insulation and I'm gonna cover up the other holes around the feeding jar. That will help hold the heat kind of down, coming up, not coming up through those screens on this cold winter night. Now we decided not to spray them and we put the top on and we'll put this brick on there that will kind of keep all the, that'll keep our top from blowing off now that it's kind of cold and windy. Well, that's how you install a package. And I like to install my packages on, you know, cold days. You got to do it. You got to get them out of that package. They're going to run out of food. So it's important to get them into their hive. They can stay clustered together in there and they can stay warm. And they got feed on top. That'll help them stay warm as they eat through that Burns feeding system, the liquid jar with the additives in there. That's gonna help them a ton. Always crazy in the spring, different kind of weather that will hit beekeepers and you just uh, can't get the weather to cooperate sometimes, but you gotta keep moving, do what you need to do. I understand that. So fun little thing to do today, install a package with you guys. For those of you that have kept bees for a while and you've got a hive that has a very defensive nature to it, might be time to find the queen and replace her. Got a great video right here on how you find your queen in a hot hive. Let's take a look, I'll see you over there.